In this example of space claim, I'll show you how someone like a pattern or a mold maker could use the software to create a complicated parting line and the necessary mold or patterns for their business. Now first off, what I might want to do is solidify the inside of this model and actually extract out the core, and this would be beneficial definitely if you are a pattern maker. Well, we have a tool in space claim called Volume Extract and it does just that. It extracts out a volume given a couple of faces that represent inlets and outlets of the model. So after selecting those, a green checkbox will instantly solidify the inside of that part, and there you have it. That could be the part of your a core box used for sand casting. Now, in order to turn this into a pattern, what I might want to do is use a variation of this volume extract tool, and instead of creating just the volume on the inside, I might want to merge that volume with the original model. So running through this tool again, and selecting an option to merge the created volume with the original, it gives me a brand new solid. Essentially, this has been bricked. Okay, and it's this model around which I'll build the parting line and create uh, maybe uh, both halves of a pattern. So how would I create complex parting lines? Well, if I look at this model, I can see uh, the back half and the front half, or let me put it in this perspective, the left and the right uh, look fairly planar, but it's the section in the middle that's going to cause a problem. So we'll, we'll tackle the low-hanging fruit first, and we'll say on this reference plane, and I'll create another one, that's where my parting surface is going to be. Now, it's easy to put reference planes in, and it's just as easy in space claim to say, let's make a copy of one from one location to another, just by holding down the control key and moving it. So now I have two reference planes and that makes up roughly two-thirds of the parting surfaces, but again it's this middle section of concern. So what we've done in Space Claim is give you a draft analysis tool that you can run throughout the whole model and I can select a different pull direction as well. So the last part of the, the, the important part of this tool is the shadow lines where that zero degree uh, where that zero degree transition is will actually create a couple of curves or a couple of lines and let you turn those into curves. And those curves are going to form the basis of the parting surface. Although it may not look like much, I have everything I need to create the parting surface. Let's take that curve and start pulling on it. And I want to make sure that I'm pulling in a certain direction so I just alternate select an axis, namely the z-axis, and I'll do the same thing down on this curve and make sure that I'm pulling in that z-axis. We'll extend that down and that's just some of the uh, the parting surface. Now again the rest of this is somewhat planar so I could tell the system go ahead and grab some of those existing edges I just made and we'll pull on those. And I like to pull my parting surfaces well beyond the extents of the part. It doesn't hurt to make sure that it's uh, plenty big. Another thing I might want to do is make sure that the two ends are the same length. So I could always snap the one I'm pulling until it's now collinear with that other edge. Very easy to do. And notice just about all the, the changes, all, all the creation I'm doing of, of surfaces I'm doing with this pull tool. We'll go ahead and pull the last one out, snap it up to that edge or that point, and I'm just about done with creating the surface, but I need to start joining these things together. Well, a lot of this is still done with the pull tool. Pulling between a couple of edges will blend between those edges and give me a brand new surface. Some of these extra, some of these lines in here are just not needed, so in theory what I could do is use my fill tool and say let's grab those edges and fill them in, and I'm left with a planar surface all around. I could do two at a time, even while in that pull tool, I can still fill things in. Notice I have a small hole, small opening in the center. And it's time to get rid of that. Well, my repair tools let me do it easily. I could search for a missing face and let Space Claim go through and patch that over. And now I've got a complete parting surface, so it's that easy to make. So the last thing I'll show you is let's make a pattern around the original model. We'll go ahead and start drawing a rectangle. I'll show the original model so I know approximately where to make this box. Go ahead and make it just beyond the extents of the part. And to solidify, to solidify my rectangle and turn it into a surface body, the fill tool does that for me. Okay, let's start pulling this in both directions 
um, to make my to make my box. And it's this box I want to split up using that newly created parting surface. So the combine tool lets me do that. Simple workflow. Green body is what I want to cut up using that surface, and it should be chopped in half nicely along the parting surface. Okay, this parting surface I no longer need, and really what I want to do is merge the original block, or actually that bricked block where I did the volume extract with, I want to merge that with each half of my pattern. But I need to do it twice, so that means I really need to have two patterns in place, or two of the original models. Easy to do with the copy and paste tool. It's like 3D plagiarizing. I take one solid and merge it, or I'm sorry, I take one solid, copy and paste it, and I've got two. So let's go ahead and start merging some of these things together. Everything you see on the screen, I want to merge. The block and the original model. So I use my combine tool to merge those together. And now that one is done. I can go ahead and hide it. Let's bring back the upper half as well as the original model and merge those two together also with the combine tool. So there you have it. The important thing I wanted to show you was creating the parting surface but also how easy it is to use the, geome the newly created geometry and the cut up geometry to start making the different halves of your pattern. Last thing I might do, very last thing, is go ahead and rotate this around maybe 180 degrees, easy to put precision in there, not everything is dynamic, and so you can see both halves uh, put right next to each other. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you've seen how Space Claim can help a pattern or a mold maker easily make complex parting surfaces as well as uh, the necessary patterns and molds. Thanks again for watching.